Hi guys, today we will be talking about a vibe. Clean girl aesthetic, however, a refined and grown version. I'm going to talk about perfumes that don't just evoke looking clean and simple. I'm going to talk about clean, simple, and perfumes that give an impact. Imagine an effortless chic vibe. If that sounds interesting to you, then please do keep watching. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do reviews and recommendations of affordable and luxury fragrances in my channel. And if that sounds appealing to you, then please just continue watching and maybe consider subscribing. Oftentimes, when you hear clean aesthetic vibe perfumes, you imagine something that smells soapy and laundry-esque like. You won't find these kind of perfumes in today's video, okay? Now, starting off with a brand that, in my opinion, depicts this category very well. And I'm talking about Carner Barcelona. I recently received their latest perfume, and this is called Revolution. To be honest, in the beginning, I was a bit hesitant because I saw that it is based in leather and some ozonic notes. So I was thinking that I may not like this, but guys, I am very impressed with this fragrance because um, this is definitely my vibe. I definitely mm, get the leather note in here. However, it is so refined and smooth. It is well blended with very heavy dose of violet, cedar and olibanum and to top it off it has a strong ozonic notes as well on top so i think the fragrance just feels so light and airy in spite of it being heavy in leather guys this is so beautiful it has orange blossom and thyme as well i think that combo gave this fragrance such a feminine touch and at the same time, like aromatic mm, feel to it as well. I'm definitely vibing with this fragrance, guys. And I know that this is just the beginning of the year, but I feel like this can be a part of my top 10 for life this year. That's how much I love it. Um, if you are the type who don't like leather, I think you should try this one. I think this is such a good um, leather fragrance for beginners. It definitely evokes that clean yet refined vibe. Um, I find this unisex and I find it very long lasting, guys. It lasted on me the entire day that I wore it. Guys, I love this so much that I wore this three times in a row, which never really happens but this fragrance really gave me an impact and if you're searching for Grantica, this is compared to all those tom ford leather fragrances i don't find it similar to any of those i haven't smelled anything like this this to me is primarily violet so if you love violet you're gonna love this one ozonic notes that makes it light and the airy and of course the leather is very heavy here i feel like the base is a clean leather you have to check this one out especially if you're a fan of clean girl aesthetic vibe but i'm telling you this is such a refined and grown version um yeah revolution by Carner. Next up is from Connor once again, and just to let you guys know, this video is not sponsored, okay? It's just that Connor for me, is just evoking this vibe. So, next up is TARDIS, and if you watch my videos, you know how much I love this one. This was part of my top 10 for life last year. Mm, this to me is like almond and heliotrope done really good it has that scary celery note that is giving this fragrance just a little bit of vegetal touch however it's it's blended very well with the rest of the notes mm. 
it has rose and geranium. The dry down of this is extremely powdery and something that just smells like your skin, but better. Mm, this is such a classy fragrance, guys. That's why I love it so much. Mm, the dry down is ultimately musky and powdery scent. Um, definitely the powderiness is coming from the almond and heliotrope combo. Mm, it has a fruitiness coming from the plum. It is such a feel-good, feel-beautiful and clean kind of scent. And also, this fragrance lasts for a very long time. I have three corner fragrances that I'm going to talk about today. And I must say that this is the longest lasting one. People love this on me. This is such an easy and simple fragrance. Just very chic. And to top it off, I find this fragrance very unique as well. I highly recommend Tardis by Corner Barcelona. And the last fragrance from Corner in today's video is Latin Lover. Well, this is for someone who is into clean girl aesthetic vibes, but cannot let go of floral perfumes. Latin Lover is a beautiful floral and musky fragrance. Mm, it is very heavy in jasmine. I get a heavy dose of jasmine in this fragrance. Magnolia, Ylang Ylang, Lily of the Valley. Um, and it also has violet. However, it is a little bit toned down. To my nose, it is jasmine, mm, Ylang Ylang, and magnolia that are quite strong. I love this fragrance. And considering it is like full on floral, if you check the note breakdown, um, to me, it doesn't smell indolic at all. This is very light, very mm, airy, and of course, another clean smelling fragrance that doesn't smell like laundry, okay? This is a very ladylike fragrance. Beautiful, very beautiful, guys. I highly recommend you checking this one out. If you love florals and at the same time clean smelling perfumes. So now that I'm finished with corner perfumes, I would just like to let you know that starting tomorrow, yes, February 1 until February 9, they will be doing a Valentine's promotion in their website. So for those of you who like some of the fragrances that I mentioned in today's video, they are doing their Valentine's Day promo starting tomorrow until February 9. For every 100 euros or $100 purchase, you're going to get a free 15 ml of Latin Lover. And in case you want to save some more, and of course you want to buy some more, you can still use my code on top of that, of course, if you purchase more than 100 euros or dollars, you can use my code JOANNA10 and still save 10% off with your final purchase. So yes, that's all about the Corner Barcelona perfumes in today's video. And I highly recommend you taking advantage of this promotion, all right? Because this doesn't happen all the time in their website. As you can see, I actually showed you 15 ml um scents from corner because they are available in these sizes um which i think is really great especially for those of you who wants to to try more of their fragrances and at the same time you're not really sure if you want like a full bottle highly recommend you checking out their coffrets guys because it's really cool really handy i have purchased so many 15 ml from them as well and i love it because i love carrying my perfumes in my bag anyway yeah just a little tip for you there next up is another favorite of mine and i just discovered it in the beginning of january and i'm really head over heels about this fragrance this is from rania j this is musk musk juice there's nothing groundbreaking about this fragrance. However, this definitely portrays a clean girl grown version. If I smell this on someone, 
I'm not going to tell that person that he or she smells good. I'm going to tell him or her, you smell great. You smell amazing. And that's how this fragrance smells like. As the name suggests, yes, it is heavy in that sweet and a little bit powdery musk. However, this one has a black currant note that is quite um, prominent to my nose. Sweet vanilla. Of course, that um, light bergamot and creamy sandalwood in the base. I love this fragrance. This is how I imagine my dream musk perfume to smell like. And guys, I mentioned that there's nothing groundbreaking about this fragrance. This is kind of like similar with Clean Reserve Skin or like Kayali Musk. Uh, you know, that scent profile. However, they're not the same, okay? And I heard that people compare this a lot with mask therapy. But to be honest, I don't find them similar at all. I find musk therapy a little bit more therapeutic and calming. Musk moistures is something that gives you that uplifting vibe. Um, really nice. This to me is like the grown up version of clean reserve skin. I know I love that one, but I love this one better. So I highly recommend you checking this one out. Musk Moistures by Rania J. Sweet vanilla meets powdery iris and creamy sandalwood. Um, and by the way, I have a discount code for Rania J, which is Juana 10. So now, of course, I have to include designer choices, okay? Prada Infusion the Iris will definitely be part of today's list. This, to me, is just a perfect iris or shall i say the best iris fragrance that you can get in the designer's world mm. this definitely has that um green vegetal type of iris that actually develops to being powdery in the end mm. the neroli orange and orange flower are very prominent in the beginning hence it is giving that citrusy and orangey vibe but the dry down of this guys is just smelling so clean and powdery like imagine like an elevated baby powder that's how i'm gonna describe this fragrance every time i spray this on i instantly feel elegant and polished however very modern i love this fragrance and you know what this one lasts on me like let's say around six to eight hours doesn't project much however i love the scent bubble that it gives me highly recommend definitely giving that clean girl grown version prada infusion the iris next up guys is another designer fragrance and i think that this is equally good like the perfumes that i mentioned in today's video and this is mont blanc signature such an underrated affordable designer fragrance guys what can i say mm, this definitely smells very fresh and clean mm, it has a very prominent magnolia peony and ylang ylang so having said that you must love your floral notes. I don't find this floral fragrance. This to me is still more of like a musky scent because the dry down of this is very powdery. It is actually giving me a little bit of um, Narciso Rodriguez musk vibe. Mm, so, you know, so imagine that kind of musk that lingers all day long and also, I find this very um, milky and powdery as well. Um, the dry down is so beautiful, guys. It smells like uh, a musky orange popsicle. Yeah, that's how I'm going to describe this. I find this like a little bit citrusy. Imagine like a clementine orange because it has a clementine note. It has that orange citrusy vibe at the same time, that milky and lectonic touch that just um, feels very um, comforting. 
and it has that powdery clean musk as base really beautiful it smells velvety i think that's the perfect adjective to describe this fragrance aside from it um being powdery it is velvety and powdery and i notice as well that once this fragrance dries down on my skin i even feel like some coconut nuance in it i think that's where the milky and lactonic um, aspect of it is coming from anyway highly recommend you guys checking this one out if you are clean girl refined version on a budget um yeah mont blanc signature and the longevity and projection of this one on me is long guys definitely last six to eight hours last longer in clothes and i find the projection quite strong to be honest um let's say very strong for the first two hours until it becomes moderate um yeah mont blanc signature next up is another favorite of mine and this is soft tension by andrea mac this to me is such a unique take of a floral and musky scent if you haven't tried any andrea mac fragrance yet i highly recommend you to start with this one because mm, it is not your ordinary floral and musk combo it is not a groundbreaking fragrance however it is unique enough it has that green and earthy facet coming from the note of mate and moss however it's not too much it is like kind of like in the background this is more of the florals which is freesia and it's beautiful and of course it has that clean and powdery musk in the base i i love this one this to me is giving that clean girl refined version however she is giving off that mysterious vibe as well yeah if i smell this on someone i will definitely ask the person what he or she is wearing it is that good guys highly recommend you checking this one out if you haven't already um yeah soft tension by andrea mac all right, and last but not the least is something that I don't have yet a bottle of, but will definitely get one soon. And this is called um, Parisian Musk by Mattia Premier. And you guys, this is very beautiful. If you love Santal 33 and Philosicos by Diptyque, you're gonna love this one mm. you know what it's funny because i have santal 33 and a sample of philosophers i tried mixing them both but it didn't give me the same effect of this fragrance but this to me definitely reminds me of those perfumes if you are a fan of santal 33 you're gonna love this one because i'm getting a lot of that vibe mix with fresh figs and you know that i am a big fan of santal 33 this seems to be the sister of santal 33 however she grew up in paris so she has that parisian vibe in her and at the same time she runs her own business which is like a marketing agency and that is the vibe so while santal 33 is a new yorker who works for stocks exchange this is giving me such a chic yet very professional image in my mind highly recommend you checking this one out especially if you love the other two perfumes that i mentioned um you gonna love this one as well um hopefully i'm gonna get a full bottle of this this year um yeah that is Parisian Musk by Mattia Premier. And by the way, this perfume has an amazing longevity and projection. Definitely lasts for eight plus hours and strong projection as well, like any other Mattia Premier fragrances. So that is the video for today, guys. I hope that you liked and enjoyed it. Now, I want to know if you are vibing with these fragrances or if there is any fragrances that you think 
will fit in this category, please write me in the comments down below. I have made a video about clean girl aesthetic already last year, and I'm going to link that one in the description box just in case you're interested. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye, guys.